y'all. Welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well, today we're going to be doing another segment of the cleaning table. And today we're going to be cleaning an amberjack, and a pretty big one at that. Uh, other name for them is the Reef Donkey, or House of Pain. Uh, I can just tell you one thing, them things fight like crazy. Well, today we're going to clean one, so I'll be seeing you guys here at the cleaning table in just a minute. Alright guys, I got my big AJ here, and I apologize, next door, they're working their tails off over there, making all kinds of noise. So we're going to clean this AJ real quick. So I start behind this peck fin right here, come all the way down, up to the point of the head right there, cut all the way through, just like that. Tilt this up. And come in through here. And just go along this backbone. in there. Make sure you feel all that backbone. Get ready to storm on me, y'all. Come into the back, back portion of this tail. And AJ's will have some worms in them. And there's some right there. And you can just cut them out. They will not hurt you at all. Just spaghetti worms. this backbone here and hopefully it don't rain on me all right now what I'm gonna do is right here I'm gonna poke a hole in it just like that the reason that is so I can put my hand in there like this Just like I do the other fish, the red fish and the sheephead. We're gonna do the pull method on this bad boy. We're gonna pick him up. It's gonna rip. Just like that. There you go. Here's a big old side of beef. A side of AJ. I'll flip him over. We do the same thing. Right here. Right here where the peck fin is. Just cut down. Cut through. Cut all the way up by that head. Alright, we're gonna flip him around. Rinse this off real quick. Watch out, Summer. I really wish they weren't so noisy. I apologize, y'all. But I wanted to get this done before the storm came. Alrighty. Do like we did before. Just follow that backbone. Find a little entry point to go in. Take the back portion of this tail off. Just like that. Put my hole. Put 
throw them all the way through. All right. Yes, AJ or Messy to clean. But this is an excellent, excellent eating fish. Alrighty. Alright. There's your two sides of beef right there. Alright guys, got my fillets here. I'm gonna come right behind these backbones. Cut in. like this okay we'll deal with that in just a minute and I do got a little bit of worms here that I will cut out right here As far as the worms go on this AJ, this one's not that bad. I've seen some that were super, super bad. This one's pretty good actually. There we go. Now we're just going to stake them out. Rinse them off. Tell Summer. That big piece. This stuff is outstanding on the grill. Outstanding. Now we'll come here with the rib cage part. We'll fillet them out, just like we did the other part. Flip them over. All I like to do is come through here like this. Get on top of that rib cage. Put some pressure on with your hand. And there you go. And there's your nice belly meat. Just like that. I do the same process like that with big grouper and cobia. That's how Alright guys, I'm gonna do this other fillet real quick and I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, I got my pile of AJ meat here. It's getting real dark it's getting ready to rain, so I got this done just in time. I'm gonna take the rest of this in the house and before I freeze it, I'll clean up some of this bloodline here and uh, any bones that I left in there like I left a couple right there we'll get those out and I will put them in a Ziploc baggie a little quart size baggie with some water and freeze them and this will last me a while this is a good fish all right guys thank you for watching I'll see you in a second hey guys I hope you enjoyed that video another segment of the cleaning table cleaning that big old amberjack I got a lot of meat off that thing and those things are delicious they are an awesome fish. I love them. They get a bad rap, some of them, because they do sometimes have some worms. That one was actually pretty clean, which was excellent. But all you gotta do is just cut those worms out. They won't hurt you. They don't hurt the meat or anything. Just little, little spaghetti worms, no big deal. Well guys, I appreciate you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And I appreciate each and every one of you all for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and a little bell for notifications. And feel free anytime to shoot me a comment, y'all. Well, guys, I get to see you again soon here on the water. Tight lines, y'all.